What's up guys, this is Forest Knight and this is day 5 of 100 Days of Code. And today was all about fetching and displaying data in the Dreamlister app. So basically yesterday, when we ran the app, it was just a, a hard-coded in single cell in the table view. And it had the image, it had a title, it had a price, and it had a short description, not necessarily of the item, but why you want the item. And today we made it so it would make more cells for the data that we coded into it. So let's take a look at the code of what I changed from yesterday and what I added today. So let's talk a bit about the code. Let's start off with the main VC file because this is the one that I worked in the most today. Uh, you see here the table view, table view, number of sections, and table view down here. What we had, I believe, was just return zero in each of these. Maybe, I think, like, like a return uh, UI table view cell or something like that up in this one, but it wasn't what we had now. As you can see, this one we had to configure the cell for cell for row at, and we have a function configure cell down here, which we also had to add in f in order to actually configure the cell to the details that we gave it. And within this function, this is for the number of rows in section, self-explanatory. And then we have the number of actual sections down here, this function. And then in this table view, we have the height for row at, so we just made the height 150. Attempt fetch is the same controller with change content is the same and then but down here we have our generate test data function where we have item item 2 and item 3 and within that we have a title a price and detail so for example item 2 we have Bose headphones $300 and why I want them we also have this down here save context which basically when I run generate test data what happens is we'll come over here so if I generate it once I'll get this. If I generate it twice because I saved this already, I'll get another one. So as you can see, I already have I have double because of that. And I think I'm still not completely sure as to why we have the save context. If we're going to generate it again, which we had to implement attempt fetch and generate test data up here, if we want to generate it, I don't really understand why we saved it. Maybe for when you scroll down, it's still up there. You don't have to regenerate that when you scroll back up. I'm not completely sure. I think I'll find that out here soon, but that's still unknown to me. So after that, app delegate, uh, didn't do anything in there. Model, or let's go up to view item cell file. So over here we have our configure cell function where title, price, and details, the text, you know, we use this to configure the cell. And the cell within that is the item. The item, for example, would be our Tesla or Bose or MacBook Pro. And then over in material view, I don't think we changed anything here. But one problem I had was I had a lot of errors and that all of them but one weren't my fault, <laughs> to be honest. See all these generated files in here? We generated these when we were uh, working with entities. What happened was in each of these we had import right here. It put import in here with nothing. So you'll see an error pop up soon. This one right here, it was trying to say, I think it was trying to say that I was trying to use extension as an identifier. So what I had to do after I figured it out, figuring it out was the main part, but luckily other people had the problem. So it was easy for me to just Google and figure out what my problem was. I just took out those out of each one and good to go on that part. And then I tried it again. And up here, I had code in here that wasn't supposed to be there. It was supposed to be here. It was this code. I actually put it in the image file instead of the item file, so I had to convert that down to here. And that was those were my two problems. And this one actually took me a little bit longer because I really wasn't understanding why. The main problem was created. So within the item entity, I had a what's it called? A created class, a created uh, something. So basically, when I was trying to do created to self within the NS date or the Eagles NS date up in the image, it wasn't working because I never declared that created within the image. But within the item I did, so I had to take it down and put it in here, of course. And that's basically what took up most of my coding time today was trying to figure out some of those errors and then fetching and displaying the data. And that's it for day five of 100 Days of Code, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good one.